Uh, I don't even know. Probably that pull-up three in transition off the bounce. I don't think I had one all year, so that felt good. And um, I just knew I was due for a big, big night. Just, I just knew it. How frustrating has the last 10 days or so been? It's been frustrating, but I always look at the bright side, and we've been winning games, and I've been shooting a great percentage other than from the three three point line, so I knew it was going to fall eventually. And um, yeah, once I started clicking, it just shows what our team's made of, and we were still winning games when I wasn't even shooting that well. So that's a, I always look at the bright side that it was eventually going to come. Hey Clay, what were those moments like, like, not just when you broke the record, but when your teammates were mobbing you? I think after you hit your first four shots. It's all what I do this for is those moments that you share with your teammates. That's why we play basketball because it's a collective effort. And uh, I really believe I don't know if I would be able to break these records I have gotten in my past, just like tonight, without the system I play in or the team I'm with or the guys I play with. Because uh, you know they knew even before I went out for the second half, Steph looked at the box score and said, "Go get it." And that just shows you the unselfishness that is with him, within him. The same with. You know, KD and Draymond and DJ and everyone else that was out there on the floor were trying to find me and get me good looks. What was that lead up like? Because I think like Steph tried to pass to you twice and Draymond. I, I might have forced a few bad shots, but I was just so anxious because uh, anytime there's an NBA record at stake, you uh, kind of get a little little nervous. And um, I'm just so blessed to be able to play with the guys I do, and it's uh, it was such a, it was an amazing night. I hopefully never forget. Did you hear the crowd? It was great. Uh, it's rare when that happens. You know, every game I've had like this has been at home, except for OKC. So tonight was so much fun and to get an ovation just from these good people are just fans of basketball and they appreciate a performance like that. And uh, we know when when you when you just touch the ball and um, you uh, feel the electricity in the crowd. It's, that's why we played. When did you start thinking about the record as a possibility? When I hit that 13th three, and I was thinking in my mind, like, man, I'm one more away from an NBA record. Um, I knew it was inside. It was a uh, doable. Um, I just wanted it so badly at that point. It sounds like it at least entered your mind though at halftime when Steph's talking about it. It definitely did. I was, I'm human, so. I don't know. I'd be lying to you if it didn't. I've been in this position before. I've had 10, 11 threes, but never got close to 14. So I'm just thankful I was in that position. Clay, to that point, what's it like putting, putting up shots knowing that you got Shoot. To shot to, uh, it's, it's the best feeling. Something I haven't felt in the first six, seven games. So uh, to snap out of a slump with a record, it's uh, couldn't ask for a better way to do it, and I'm just gonna continue this momentum on Wednesday. And um, it's the best feeling in basketball, or one of the best feelings in basketball, when you touch the ball and feel like it's going in every time. How exactly did you get the gash on the forehead? And did it bother you? Not really. I was just so in the zone that I just wanted to put a head, some a bandaid and a headband over it, and get out there. I mean, me and DJ ran into each other like a couple of idiots, but it happens, and I wasn't letting that stop me from attempting for this record. But you obviously had your big night tonight. But what's it been like this past week seeing Kevin's big night and stuff? Uh, it's been awesome, especially I was talking to my uncle about it. I don't know how many teams I'll be I'll be on and fortunate enough to be shooting as poorly as I did and be and have one loss. So it shows you the depth of our team, shows you how talented we are, and we have two superstars who can literally carry us to wins. So to you know slide in there a few times a year and. You know, shock the world is, I'll take that. What's kind of the bench five like when you or, and, or Steph and Kevin are having these nights and the shots are falling? And they're in the... I mean, it's, it's fun to be on the bench. I mean, you just, uh, you know, seeing guys get in their zone, especially all of our, our guys, we work so hard and it's, uh, it's, it's just fun. Like the headband look? I do. I look like Jackie Moon out there, and uh, <laughs> so I, I was feeling good. And he's one of my favorite characters in all sports movies, so that's probably why I broke the record. <laughs>